The overall goal of this procedure is to assess the thermal stability and structural conformation of proteins in an industrial setting using differential scanning calorimetry. Differential scanning calorimetry measures the molar heat capacity of samples as a function of temperature and has been successfully used to assess the thermal stability and structural conformation of proteins. This relatively simple procedure does not depend on structural helicity or intrinsic fluorophores as it is the case for other biophysical methods. Another advantage of this technique is that it directly measures the thermal transition temperature and the energy required to disrupt the interaction stabilizing the tertiary structure of proteins. When used in conjunction with the enthalpy of unfolding, the thermal transition temperature can serve as a useful parameter to monitor lot-to-lot -lot consistency of manufacturing processes for biologics. Visual demonstration of this method can serve as an interactive medium to effectively assist new users with critical steps. To begin, switch on the differential scanning calorimeter. Then, supply nitrogen into the system. This will increase the pressure in the cells to suppress boiling of the samples as well as prevent the formation of bubbles at elevated temperatures. Depending on the constituting material of the cell, adjust the pressure of the nitrogen gas supply according to the manufacturer's recommended pressure to avoid damaging the cell. Ensure that all the cleaning agent reservoirs are filled to the required volume. Required cleaning agents include detergent to wash the cell and water to clean the cell after each sample run. Set the temperature of the sample holding compartment to a suitable value. Prefer